to the Fenrir Malamute Show. My name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Alaskan Malamutes and how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise the perfect Malamutes. So if you're a lifelong Malamute lover thinking about getting one or just getting started on your journey with your new pup then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Malamute video. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing two beautiful large breeds, the Alaskan Malamute and the Bernese Mountain Dog. Malamutes were bred by the ancient Mahomet tribe to work in brutal climates where extreme weather conditions and little food pulling extremely heavy loads over short distances. They're incredibly robust and powerful with one single Malamute being capable of pulling up to 3,000 pounds. They were conditioned to function as part of the family, staying loyal to the humans around them and protecting the tribe from threat. The Bernese Mountain Dog on the other hand is believed to have been developed through breeding between farm dogs from the Swiss Alps and the Mastip type dogs, which the Romans brought with them when they invaded the Alps in the first century. It's very likely that the burner has been working on Swiss farms for more than 2,000 years, pulling carts, accompanying livestock, standing watch and providing loyal companionship for their owners. By 1888, only a small amount of the Swiss population worked in farming, and so the need for this type of dog was much less. However, in 1899, the Swiss became very interested in preserving the native dog breeds of the country, and so the Bernese Mountain Dog increased in popularity. Male Malamutes can reach 25 inches in height and can weigh a staggering 100 pounds. Females are usually smaller and lighter. Malamutes have thick double coats that shed a lot all year round, especially in spring and autumn. They have long hair, so require a little more grooming maintenance. Their coats come in a variety of different colours, including grey and white, solid white, and seal and white. Bernese mountain dogs are similar in size. Males usually stand between 25 to 28 inches at the shoulder and can weigh up to 110 pounds, with females generally being smaller and lighter. Their Bernese coats are double layered and consist of a long outer coat and wool-like undercoat. They are recognisably trim colour with the vast majority of their body being a black with rust and bright white markings on their chest, face, legs and tail. Although their coats are incredibly beautiful, much like the Malamute, they are very heavy shedders all year round. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel having either of these breeds means accepting the fact that you'll find their hair everywhere no matter how much you brush them the dense hair will keep on shedding as working dogs Malamutes are highly energetic and require hours of exercise every day they are friendly too and are welcoming and receptive to strangers although this means that they do not make the best watchdogs the Malamute has a constant need to spend time around people and will want to be with their family regularly. It is suited to a busy and dynamic household that will provide it with plenty of opportunities to build strong, affectionate bonds with people who are ready to give it attention. Because Malamutes are also renowned to be a little stubborn, they are often tricky to train. It is very important that they are trained consistently and socialised with a steady, experienced hand from a young age or they will find it difficult to adapt. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a very loving dog with a gentle, careful nature. This is a massive positive about the breed as they can make amazing family pets and companions and they are especially good with children of all ages. This is a quality that they are well renowned for, commonly becoming close companions to the children in the family. The Berner is widely known for its kind, sweet and rather docile nature. Obviously, as with all dog breeds, you must socialise and train your pup properly from a young age in order to have a well-balanced dog that gets along with all. Socialisation is key if you're bringing your dog into a relatively busy household where there's new people coming around or other dogs. Bernese Mountain Dogs don't require quite the same amount of intensive exercise as a Malamute. However, they're still a highly energetic breed requiring hours of exercise every day to play. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. 
Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Malamute videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Malamute Show.